Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the reaction of phenol with alkyl halide. That is, we are going to prepare ether from phenol. This reaction is otherwise known as Williamson ether synthesis. Let's take phenol. Now, we are going to react phenol with sodium hydroxide. Okay, we are going to react phenol with sodium hydroxide. That is NaOH. What happens? This hydrogen and this OH will leave as water molecule H2O and the sodium will be attached to this oxygen. So we get sodium phenoxide, the name of this compound is sodium phenoxide. Now we are going to react alkyl halide that is methyl iodide with ICH3, methyl iodide with sodium phenoxide. What happens? The sodium and iodine will leave as sodium iodide NaI and the CH3 will replace as sodium. So we get to this O CH3 group will be attached. The name of this compound is methyl phenyl ether. What is the name of this compound? Methyl phenyl ether. Let's write the name for these compounds. The first one, this is phenol reacts with sodium hydroxide, we get sodium phenoxide. We get sodium phenoxide. Sorry. Sodium phenoxide. The sodium phenoxide, if we react sodium phenoxide with methyl iodide, this is methyl iodide. Reacts with methyl iodide. The sodium and iodine leave as sodium iodide. And we get methyl phenyl ether or else the other name for this compound is anisole. If we want phenotol that is instead of the CH3 there will be CH2 and CH3 that is ethyl phenyl ether the name of that compound is phenotol. If we want to prepare phenotol in the sense instead of this methyl iodide we need to take ethyl iodide okay. So let us summarize the reaction an alkaline solution of phenol reacts with alkyl halide to form phenyl ether. The alkyl halide undergo nucleophilic substitution by the phenoxide ion in the presence of alkali. Okay. In this reaction, we prepare ether from phenol. Thank you.